and the, the story is, I mean, Harry O started Death Row, but I read in a book there might have been, you know, like you had a big part in in helping Death Row get started. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that though. That's yeah. all I can tell you. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you like do you ever like look back and be like, man, like, you know? Yeah, I fucked up our our, our master plan. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be yeah. So so Suge he he starts Death Row and um, no he is he is well let me started. let me back up he he um, he got the money and then Death Row started. And no, they 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 wanted easy, easy E first. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So so they wanted Easy E to run the label first. They call they, they did a conference call with Easy E. Okay. And Easy E uh, turned them down, and he came over to my house and said, "Man, them dudes is in jail. Like, y'all fucking. I don't, you know, have nothing to do with that shit. And plus, I'm like already established. Yeah. Then they got in contact with Dre. And I, I read like th th somebody called you to get in contact with Dre, and you kind of facilitated that and got yeah. Dre's number. Yeah. T t tell me about your relationship with Easy. -E. Like, uh, uh, he was cool. His uh, his cousin named Big Horse. He was from our neighborhood. And this is before you know all that dope game and everything came out. Yeah. But when it came out, Horse was kind of big time from our neighborhood. And I used to go over there and cook at his house. We used to cook. Cook up shit, yeah, cook, cook, up, cook up rocks and shit. So when he was first getting started, did did, did and, you uh, think did you think he was gonna make it big? Shit, he used to be in there while we was cooking, making all that racket. Uh huh. Cause I was used to the uh, like the Houdinis, yeah, the fucking uh, Fat Boys and shit groups like that. They was nursery rhyming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know. I wasn't used to that gangster rap. I, he used to be making racket to me. <laughs> so when I was in the pen and Tracy, uh, I had been listening to that song cruising down the street in my 6'4 with one woman. And one of the homies came up there. I said, man, uh, we was walking the track. I said, man, what uh, what, what Eric out there doing? I said, man, you heard of that song, Easy E, cruising down the street in my 6'4? I'm like, yeah. He said, man, that's Eric. <laughs> I like you bullshit. He's like, yeah. yeah. Like, man, that nigga didn't came up. Yeah. I used to say that shit wasn't going to work. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And did you, did you guys have much interaction as he got going as a established artist? Did you guys like run into each other a lot? Yeah, he used to come to the neighborhood a lot. Come uh, hang around everything. He's a cool dude. Yeah. Good dude. Did he ever talk to you about the beef he was having with uh, Suge and Death Row at the time? That that was a bunch of made up bullshit. Yeah, uh, like I say, the Crips, the Crips and Compton wouldn't even went for that shit. You know what I'm saying? That was our city. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Really, the whole fucking California is Crips. You know? Yeah. Well, the dudes get to claiming that pyro stuff and the blood stuff. They they do anything wrong, they go up in that pen. They gonna find out really who running shit. You know so, so, like, you think the media people just kind of like made it seem bigger than it really was, like the 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 Easy E and Dr. Dre. Did you ever see the movie uh, Straight Outta Compton? Yeah, yeah, they 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 did Easy wrong. That was some bullshit. Yeah, that was bullshit. So you yeah. don't think like he you know he got beat up by those dudes? Hell no, hell yeah. no. We wouldn't have went for that bullshit. No. Nah. So um, so let's talk about you know. So Suge Knight um, gets Dr. Dre over there to uh, to Death Row, and they pick up Snoop Dogg, and you hear the song. Just like that that chick Jewel. Yeah. She said, "I came up with the name of that and the symbol." Bitch, that shit was already <laughs> before we Suge even was even involved in that shit. Shit was already established. So uh -huh. she told a lie on us, a bunch of lies, man. So you so you're saying that she said that she came she up came, with the logo and the oh, name. Oh, that old bullshit. She's lying like hell. <laughs> it's bullshit. Okay. That shit was out before Shug even was involved in this shit. You know, and, before and, they even got Shug involved on me. And then, uh, so so you hear you hear that song "Deep Cover." What you think about that when, when you first heard it? Yeah. Uh, 
when I first heard it, shit, I did, they had a hit. I, I said, pretty good they had a hit. Yeah. So, so, so Shook starts growing, Death Row starts getting bigger, and, um, and, and you're running into Shook every now and then, and um, I read in the book also that, um, that it was kind of like, you know, he would see you be like, what's up, Keith BD, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, yeah, we, yeah, we, you know, I've been relationship. Since we kids. Yeah, and all that, uh, we went to this party in Hidden Hills. Uh, the six nine girls was doing a video shoot up there. Yep. And he had, uh, he he offered me to come up there to the party. So I gotta ask you, who was the person at the gate not trying to let you in? Uh, Rent Sergeant Reynolds and Reggie Wright. And them they was down there. They was that on their right way production jackets. These all Compton polices and shit. So we get there and he like, what the fuck y'all come out here for? This is Sergeant Reynolds. I'm like, what? He's like, I like sure you invited us out here. You motherfuckers ain't getting in this motherfucker. So I seen one of the bras from Compton. I told her to go up there and get sure. So sure came down the hill that all 18 of us in. So I clowned that fool sergeant running like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Walked up in there, yeah. yeah he, 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 he didn't like me at all. Is he still around, Sergeant Reynolds? Yeah, I heard he worked with the Lakewood Sheriff Department. Oh, okay. Yeah, lieutenant or something now. Okay. Yeah. So you get up in the you get up in the, the the video shoot and then there's like an incident with like some girl or something that says something to you. Yeah, and she's like, just damn bro, motherfucker. <laughs> and she told her, bitch, chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? You 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 on some stupid shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, and you ended up running into her like later on or some or her and. She so, well and them at the club. Yeah. Yeah. And they ended up getting beat up or something, or kind of fucked them up, roughed them <laughs> up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you was up in the party just chilling with Suge, and Suge was cool. Cool. It was like kind of like a Compton thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He 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 know what was up. Yeah. And then yeah. so, uh, um, he goes to the Source Awards, and yeah. I think you got were you guys there at the Source Awards or no? Not? That was in New York. I okay. Was a, I was on. I was on Calvin. So he goes to the Source Awards, and uh, and that's where he says the famous like, you know, yeah. if you don't want the executive producer in the so videos, I'll all of your videos, yeah, yeah. But he had got he really it was the summer jam uh ninety five at the uh, Irvine Meadows. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Biggie was uh did that one more chance. That shit was the hottest shit out back then. Then that uh what else he did uh. Love you when you call me Big Papa, yeah. Dangerous, and who shot you? So we was on the revolving stage up there. We should I seen him in my peripheral vision that he was on to the side. So when the when the thing turned around, I came. We came off the stage. He asked me, "What up, keep it easy? Let me all at you." I said, "How you know them motherfuckers? Same way I know you, motherfucker." Yeah, that's all. And uh, shit. Then that night, we uh. Puff had gave an after party at the L Ray. And uh, all my girl my girls and their friends that came. I had sent them down in the VIP. So uh, they asked me to go get them get them some champagne and shit. So I went and got a couple of bottles of champagne. I get back. Snoop Dogg and his little partners, uh, Daz and Corrupt, all them little dudes, the DBD dudes. They and my girls seats. I'm like, I'm like, motherfucker, get y'all a little what? Get y'all punk ass up. And they like, oh, gee, I didn't know that was you. Like, nigga, yeah, get y'all ass up. Well, I don't know who y'all think y'all are. Yeah. yeah, that was at the Hellroy that night.